Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 17th Microsoft Access tutorial and in this tutorial I show you how to use formulas or functions or methods or whatever you want to call them uh, in your build tool. So the we've been using it just now in our sales value to just times one field by another uh, but what we can actually do is uh, I'm just going to close this one down and create a new one uh, is we can put various formulas inside our inside our build tool so if I've got my sales uh, and I go into my build tool and go on bills uh, and if we click on this functions drop down here and go into built-in functions and then this brings up a list of all of the different functions that you can use in Microsoft Access so these are the categories so we've got some math ones we've got some text ones we've got some uh, we've got some date and time ones which are, I'm going to use now uh, and so on and so forth so what we can do with this then is if we just go and start off our field as normal so I'm going to do a field that just gives me the year that the sale is made so we're going to call it year and then we're going to go and find our year formula in here so year uh, so it gives you a brief description at the bottom and they work very similar to excel formulas in that they take certain parameters and then return a value uh, and you can combine that value with various other pieces of information uh, but what I'm going to do so if I click on here on the little help down here then it's going to load up some help eventually because my internet seems to be running quite slowly here we go so this will bring up the help page and this will give you a much more detailed example um, and all of the breakdown of exactly what you need to do to use it so we're not going to go through all the functions because hopefully with that those help features you should be able to pick up pretty much most of them so I just want to show you how you fill in the parameters etc um, so let's put in our year then so you can either double click on it and it will bring it up here or you can just type it in manually so I'm going to put year and you'll see it comes up and then date so I need to provide it with a date so I'm going to pass it the field sales underscore date um, I need to reference my table first so sales dot and then sales date and we need to close the bracket on our year if I press OK and then let's also bring through the sale date and then go to our data sheet view and you'll see that it comes through with all the dates and then the year of that date uh, so that's the basics of a function there are some that take more than one parameter so if I go in here and create a new one and go to build uh, and then into our functions, built-in functions. I'm going to go for date and time again, and then I'm going to take the weekday formula. Now this f uh, function takes two parameters separated by a comma, the same way you would in Excel. So if I put weekday and then the date, so we want sales exclamation mark sale date. And then we put a comma and we put in our second parameter which is first day of the week uh, and uh, if we click on our help and we go down then we can see first day of the week is our parameter uh, and we can see that it's optional and that it specifies the first day of the week uh, if it's not specified, then Sunday is assumed. So I want the first day of the week to be Monday. So I look at Monday in my table, and that means I need to fill in the value 2, uh, or the constant VB Monday. So we can either go, we can either type VB Monday, or we can just put in the number 2. I prefer to use the number, um, just because... That's what I'm used to, I guess. Um, there's no particular reason. Do what, do whichever one you want. Um, and then I'm going to show you what happens if I don't name it. So I'm not going to give it a name at the start. So if I press OK 
and then it's going to automatically fill in the name for me. It's just going to call it expression one. Uh, so if you run your query and you see that it's just coming up with expression one, that just means that the uh, you haven't given it a name in here. So if we just go and pop in here, uh, and if you don't want to go into the entire build box, then you can just press on the zoom button um, and it gives you a bit of a bigger box, which is nice. Um, so let's put weekday. And then we'll go into our data sheet view and then you can see which day of the week it is. Uh, so we've got these ones which are on a Saturday, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, and apparently no sales on Mondays, Tuesdays, um, or Fridays. Anyway, that's just how I put my da the, the, the data together. Um, so that's how you would use the functions. Uh, I'll just go through a quick a couple of ones that are useful that you probably use quite a lot. So math, you've got quite a few that you'll use, like round. You've got the, all the trigonometry ones, so cos, sine, t, tan. You've got square root. Uh, you've also uh, got the log, and you've got integer and things like that. So they're all useful. Uh, in your text, you've got some useful ones. So you've got a chart, which gives you a particular thing. So you can add tabs and enters in between your strings. You can change a field to lowercase. You can use left to cut bits off the side uh, or mid to take something from the middle. And you can replace parts of your string. So you can find, you could get rid of something from a particular field. That could take out swear words or something like that. Um, and trim just gets rid of white space, which is very useful. And if you've got any questions, then feel free to drop them in the comments with any other functions. Or if you want to see any odd specific functions, let me know. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you use this uh, if or if statement. Um, which if you've watched my VBA tutorials, you'll basically know how to use them or if you've watched them on the Excel. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully I will catch you in the next tutorial uh, as the if statements are fantastic and definitely a good thing to learn. So thanks for listening. Hope to catch you soon.